China says the G4 virus is not a new type of swine flu. It has similar traits to the H1N1, which caused a pandemic in 2009. Chinese researchers discovered the virus. They say it can be transmitted from pigs to humans, but there's no evidence yet that it can spread from human to human. For now, officials say there is no need for global alarm. Joining me now is Shi Chen. He's an assistant professor of public health at Yale University. I think I speak for just about everybody, probably including you, that 2020 is a pretty lousy year. Do we need one more thing to worry about? Uh, you know, the top infectious disease expert here in the U.S., Dr. Anthony Fauci, says it's worth keeping an eye on because it's not just that it has characteristics of the 2009 H1N1 virus. Also has similarities to the 1918 pandemic flu. So, how concerning is it? Yes, yeah, thanks for having me, Mike. Uh, this is a warning message from the PNAS study, which says that uh, this virus is becoming more and more frequently uh, infecting the pigs uh, farms in in China. Uh, and this uh, G4 variant has shown a sharp increase, uh, starting from four years ago. And I think the trend was worrisome. And uh, and also important, G4 uh, variant is also very close to what happened in 2009. We may have some memory about what's happening in, what was happening in the United States at, around that, that time. Uh, a few million people infected, uh, 200,000 people hospitalized, and uh, more than 10,000 people died in 2009. Uh, so I think so far, uh, there's no widespread uh, panic uh, needed. Because uh, this study is basically based on a small sample, I think that we need to strengthen national and international surveillance of uh, pigs. In China, there are more than 500 million pigs, and uh, it's uh, all over China, and China is a big producer and a consumer. So China needs to strengthen the national surveillance. I think another lesson from this uh, COVID-19 is that we have all the doctors treating patients, but if we have uh, epidemiologists, uh, public health scholars uh, going one step uh, uh, before uh, the treatment of disease to do the surveillance and do the epidemiology surveys that will reduce the uh, mitigated risk. Uh, so far, there's an, indeed, there's no immediate threat. This is a consensus by the uh, China CDC and also the U.S. Uh, top uh, infectious disease uh, uh, expert, Anthony Fauci. And, uh, uh, but the situation really needs to be closely monitored uh, because we do not simply do not know when the virus could jump from the uh, the, uh, the pigs to humans. And there was some evidence already showing that some farm workers already have the antibody. That means they were already being infected. Uh, so especially as you also mentioned during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, the the G4 virus also have very similar symptoms as flu, as uh, a chloral virus. So it's quite me, likely to be mixed yeah. with the other kind of disease but, to uh, crash the healthcare system. Yeah, well, let me ask you this. Uh, Fauci also said the G4 virus is showing reassortment uh, capabilities. What does he mean by that? So uh, that means uh, that the mutation may go on for uh, quite quickly and may go into unknown directions. So uh, which may put uh, human beings in a more susceptible position to be infected because that G4 variant is uh, more likely to infect uh, human beings than other type of uh, strains, uh, 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 swine flu strains. So that's why we need a close monitoring this. Uh, and I think it's, uh, already happening in 2009, a uh, very similar G4 uh, variant. So it's a combination of a common flu and G4 variant. Uh, so, and importantly, human beings have no immunity uh, against uh, this virus. Mm. So, but I think there are several things we, we could do at this moment, uh, both in individual levels and uh, at the national level uh, to address this concern. If you could, just briefly, because we're just about out of time, what should we be doing? Yeah. Yeah, I think the, the common thing is that we can take uh, more uh, flu shots, especially in China, the flu shot uh, vaccination rate is quite low, 3%. We, if we increase that, we could avoid that to be mixed with other kind of very similar disease. And we could also improve the personal hygiene. And at the national level, I think we really call for international collaboration. Since the uh, U.S. went through this uh, pandemic in 2009, there are still many scientists working on this uh, virus, including some of my colleagues. So they could share very rich clinical uh, experience and uh, 
um, and also the scientific part of uh, uh, dealing with this virus across the country borders. Yeah. If uh, there are more collaborations globally, so we are able to address this particular uh, potential threat. Well, we certainly uh, we certainly learned the benefit of that uh, with COVID-19. Uh, perhaps if people had gotten out in front earlier, uh, we may, might not have the problem we have right now. But Shi Chen, thank you so much for, uh, for joining us, giving us that kind of analysis. Appreciate it.